Hello, my name is Maria Garlock, Professor of Structural Engineering at Princeton University. In this course, I will illustrate that structural engineering is a creative discipline, and creativity requires courage to try new things, discipline to stay within the boundaries of rational forms, and play to search for forms that are technically correct, but also elegant. I will use examples of real bridges and real people to lead you through the fundamental principles of bridge engineering and examine the history and evolution of bridge design. The course is designed for a general audience. No engineering background is needed. It is the first course of a series of three independent courses that examine structural engineering as a form of art. The next two courses will examine buildings and shell and spatial structures. The course traces the development of outstanding bridges that arose since the Industrial Revolution and the introduction of new materials, industrialized iron, steel, reinforced concrete, and finally pre-stressed concrete. The basis for this course is the scholarship of my colleague, Professor David P. Billington, who has defined post-industrial revolution structures that are efficient, economical, and elegant as a new art form called structural art. We will hear from him in this course as well. To understand the relationship between forces and form, in this course we will use some fundamental equations of statics and equilibrium to calculate the forces imposed by the weight of traffic and the weight of the structure itself. These simple formulas are not watered down versions of what engineers use today, but they are the fundamental equations used by every engineer to analyze and design bridges. By the end of the course, you will be able to appreciate how economic, social, and cultural context influences the design of structures. We also discuss the designers and their education and life experiences, the latter of which usually involves overcoming challenges. Often the high art world hated the new forms developed by these great designers. They demonstrate that creativity requires courage, discipline, and play. These designers sought to integrate elegance in their forms. Beauty was not an afterthought. It was a conscious decision embedded in the process of design, where the elegance derived by the form is based on engineering principles. In this course, we will make comparative evaluations of efficiency, economy, and elegance for various structures. The lectures will have simple questions embedded in them to measure the comprehension of participants. For those interested in deeper learning, assignments with calculations will evaluate the application of basic formulas governing bridge design, and essay assignments provide an opportunity for participants to make efficiency, economy, and elegance evaluations. I hope that you will join me in discovering the creative discipline of engineering through bridge design. If you do, you will never look at a bridge in the same way again.